Namaste to all magical minds. Welcome to Edu Attack. Dear, I am here for your CS executive entrance test. And in this course, there is a paper of business communication. And in paper of business communication, there is chapter number four, lesson number four in your ICSI module. All right. Then we are starting this concept. And first of all, we will discuss about meaning of communication. What is origin of communication word? Communication word is from Latin word communicare or communis. It means to share. There is English word, English word that is common from which communication word is derived. English word is common from which communication word is derived. Communication is a process of exchanging various information, ideas, thoughts, feelings and emotions of one person to other through speech, various non-verbal signals, writing or behavior. You should know difference between data and information. We say always information system. We don't say data system. Why? What is difference between data and information? Data is raw. Data is in raw form. While information is processed data, filtered data, relevant data. Then you can say when we extract our relevant data, from the bulk of data, then this filter data is called information. For example, in my mind, there is various type of data regarding financial management accounts and miscellaneous papers. But here, my mind filters about relevant data, relevant data regarding your business communication paper. That is called information. You have a study in the statistics. One chapter was there, measures of central tendency. What was there? There was there were mean, median, mode. Then concept was there. Mean represents its group of data. Mean is that number which represents it's large group of numbers. Then mean is information. Then we talk about communication. Then please always remember we passed information only, not data. We pass information. We provide information, not data. In second slide, we say, we see, there are two types of information. One is intrapersonal and another is interpersonal. What is meaning of that? Intra means within. Intra means within. When we try to communicate with ourselves, you know that is not insane type activity. This is very normal. When we plan something in our mind, we ask from ourselves. We give our answer to ourselves. Then that is intrapersonal communication. It's very important from examination point of view. This type of division is not given in your ICSI study material. But for competitive examination point of view, this division is very important. And second is interpersonal communication. When one person communicates to other person for exchanging their emotions, ideas, beliefs, then it is called 
interpersonal communication when you talk with your friends your family members or anyone this is interpersonal communication and for interpersonal communication there is need of at least two person there is need of at least two person while in the case of intrapersonal communication there is only one person that is myself only all right in next slide there are some definitions first one there is very known scholars there are very known scholars koons and o'donnell they are management gurus management gurus say communication is the transfer of information from one person to another here you see the word of information not data you see the word of information then koons and o'donnell say communication is the transfer of information from one person to another whether or not it elicits confidence for learning purpose for memorizing this definition you can retain the word elicits all right elicits link this word with the name of scholars because in exam there can be a definitions and you will be asked about the writer's name then for memorizing this you can select a un an unique word from definition and learn that word with the name of writer right this is tip for you in next slide we see the definition of jaws terry communication is an exchange of facts ideas opinions or emotions by two or more persons there is very general definition and we have read it in the starting slide very generalized definition and you understand it in next slide we cover allen lewis definition communication is the sum of all things one person does when he wants to create understanding in the mind of another it's very vast definition you see allen lewis covers the whole area of communication verbal as well as non verbal communication communication is the sum of all things one person does when he wants to create understanding in the mind of another it's a bridge of meaning it involves a systematic and continuous process of telling listening and understanding here you can learn the phrase you can memorize the phrase systematic and continuous process systematic and continuous process all right in next video we will discuss about communication process thanks dear please like our channel and subscribe it thank you